This is Twit. Nova Launcher's been around a long time. When it comes to apps that enable customization of devices without root, there's probably, I have to imagine, there's probably features in Nova Launcher that are tied to root if you actually happen to have a rooted device. But, you know, most people... Uh, aren't rooted and they want to change the look and feel of how their device runs, Nova Launcher is it. I mean, th there are obviously other launchers, Action Launcher, Chris Lacey, but, um, you know, there are great launchers out there, but Nova Launcher, man, it's been out forever and it's been solid. And so it's one of the most popular launchers for and Android. It has now been acquired by Branch. <clears throat> and this was announced I think in the last, maybe even the last day, did this get announced today? Yeah, this was announced today. This uh, wow. branch is, an, is a metrics company. Nova's existing developer team is going to remain intact. So first and foremost, they're not going anywhere. They're gonna, still going to be working on this on a daily basis. I think Kevin Barry is still going to be uh, you know, involved and, and integrated with it and everything. Branch actually analyzes user user metrics and then provides those metrics to developers. So it's pretty easy to kind of see what or how Nova might actually be beneficial for Branch, beneficial for developers to know how people are using that that launcher and uh, you know how that ties into their apps, their experiences, that sort of stuff. Um, apparently, you can expect A/B testing of features, new features within Nova, and Branch Analytics is actually going to be deciding, you know, part of the deciding factor as far as what stays and what goes based on how users are actually using uh, the launcher. So that could be a benefit. Uh, Branch also owns Sesame Universal Search, um, which is kind of you know, which is exactly as it sounds. It's like an on-device Universal Search. Uh, process. So expect more search integrations in the app as well. It's actually already been there for a few years now. There's uh, been that integration, but now, you know, they all belong to the same uh, company under the same kind of parent company uh, branch. So expect to see, I guess, more of that. And I think in general, anytime something like this happens, people start to kind of cower in fear of like, don't take my, you know, this thing that I've loved and used for years and years and years and turn it into something awful or don't take my data. Now, suddenly this is a data analytics company and it's being sandwiched into this thing that I've used and loved forever. I don't want to use it anymore because what the heck happens with that data? And I think those are all justifiable um, perspectives on something like this. You don't ever truly know exactly what the long-term game is. Even in the beginning, they usually say, oh, we're keeping the team and blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, those things change. They change because it's under a new owner. And at some point, those, uh, you know, they start kind of uh, kind of taking control of of different aspects of it that weren't that they weren't in control of before for their own benefit for their own reasons and everything i'm not saying branch has bad um you know has bad mojo or bad intentions or anything like that i'm just saying that yeah probably the nova launcher i have to imagine is going to change in some way and you may or may not like it but uh that's kind of what happens at this point i, I will say branch we use branch at scorebit for our app tracking and user tracking and, and like you know kind of click you know it allows you to do um like deep links in the app and things like that they they they've been good to work with like i like awesome. they are i've heard of them i'm aware of them i have no complaints about them so uh uh yeah so i'm excited for them and it seems you know it seems like if this is if they're putting together different pieces of a mobile app ecosystem it seems like nova plugs into that pretty interestingly similar to the what was this what was the other company they acquired the with the weird name with the s that you said see to me um, universal C search yeah yeah exactly so you've got universal search you've got you know an app launcher they're already working with developers to use their kind of uh analytics and tracking systems and a b testing and things like that within apps imagine you know um, imagine what you know, kind of possibilities you get with all these different pieces in place. It's it's interesting to see what their larger kind of uh, goal is for sure. So yeah, thank thank you for providing that context that that you yeah. use them and everything. It yeah. certainly helps to kind of um, ground this a little bit better because I think where I'm where I was speaking from is more kind of like the the instant knee jerk perspective that I see a lot on like places like Reddit and everything where they see that and immediately they go, Oh, well I'm in uninstalling Nova because it was just bought by this, you know, data analytics company and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But you know, Scooter X in chat points out, um, over a hundred thousand apps, uh, use branch, 
uh, since 2014. Adobe, BuzzFeed, Yelp, you know, 3 billion monthly users across the globe. This is not a small company that isn't trusted by some big names out there. You know what I mean? Or some small unknown uh, company. I haven't been too familiar with it because I haven't had an opportunity to work with it. But, uh, you know, based on what you're saying, I kind of feel like I understand it a little bit more. Yeah. So, cool. It's, I'm glad, it's really see, glad I can add value. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's interesting because, I mean, like, um, I mean, even day to day, like uh, development, like app development and software development increasingly is just totally data driven. Like, and that's kind of the goal where you use tools like Branch or other kind of metrics libraries and services to understand what your users want. And so like the notion of experimentation and A-B testing and trying to figure out what people want is a good thing. And really, it's really important to have that feedback loop of like finding out what you're, whether what you're doing, people are responding to. I think it's interesting because Branch, I would ex expect like Branch is a tool, right? So usually other companies like Adobe, BuzzFeed, Yelp, and more would use them as a tool. And then the metrics that they use are towards their own, you know, like business goals and business, you know, uh, directives, whereas branch themselves as the company that does the metrics is buying Nova launcher. And so it, it's interesting. Cause usually like when you use met metrics driven, like when you use data driven development, you know, you have very specific things, but it's interesting that it's like the person doing the metrics that is also the buyer and the, it's like their business director. So I'm kind of just curious where it goes. Um, and to kind of like to, to give, I mean, I don't think anyone should ever have a knee jerk reaction to things like a company getting acquired. But as yeah. someone who's been through an acquisition, I, I mean, the reality is that things are going to change. I don't want to like freak anybody out. Yeah. Uh, but but things do change. And usually when a product is, is acquired, the, the, it's a balance of keeping the current users and trying to maintain that product, but also using that pro product to meet, again, meet business goals. How can this product help us sell other sure. things that we're selling or help enhance other products? So, I mean, it's a thing. It'll happen. Yeah. Um, and yeah. whether it's tolerable or not, or whether it totally changes uh, what, 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 what you know and love as the Nova launcher, it's going to take time to figure that out. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't. Um, so yeah, um, I think all points are very valid. Uh, just gotta wait and see what happens. So yeah, you always, and, hope, uh, always and, hope for the you always hope for the best with an acquisition. It's all you can do. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for yeah. for sure. And uh, and big congratulations to friend of the show Kevin Barry uh, for yeah. Uh, yeah selling Nova Launcher like this. I mean, he's been doing it for a decade. I have to imagine at least at this point. And uh, it's nice after all that hard work. To kind of get the big the big payout mm -hmm. and and uh, see what's next, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure Kevin. I'm certain that Kevin cares enough about Nova to feel that like, hey, I don't want it, this to just go to a company that's going to destroy the reputation or whatever. Um, but yeah, we will have to wait and see how what the direct impacts are on the app as a result of this. Who knows? It could just be, hey, you know, we we just think Nova's great, and you know, who who the heck knows? But I should also mention Nova Launcher Eight Beta is out just released a couple of days ago. So if you're on the beta track for Nova, you can get version eight and you'll want to, it includes full material use support. And then they also completely redesigned the settings pane, which has been uh, been a long time in the making. So uh, good new features coming to the new release of the beta, uh, Nova Launcher 8.0 beta. Look for it and get some material you in there as well.